Deus in auditorium meum intente. Domine, ad adiuvandum me festina. Gloria Patria et Filio et Spiritui Sancto. Sicut ad ad in principio et nunc et semper. Et in saecula saeculorum. Amen. Behold the fiery sun arise, it troubles shames and brings remorse. For no one can persist in sin when light bears witness to our guilt. Let blindness disappear at last, that long has plunged us deep in sin, and so has drawn our fallen souls by errant steps through wandering paths. Then let this light bring cloudless day and make us pure before his gaze. Let nothing sly be on our tongue and nothing dark be in our thought. Let all the day so run its course that no unguarded tongue may lie, no furtive eye or hand deceive lest sin defile our mortal flesh. The one who sees stands by on high and watches us through all our days, discerning every act and deed from early dawn to eventide. To God the Father glory be, all honor to his only Son, one with the Spirit paraclete, from age to age forevermore. Amen. Awake, lyre and harp, with praise let us awake the dawn. Have mercy on me, God, have mercy, for in you my soul has taken refuge. In the shadow of your wings I take refuge Till the storms of destruction pass by I call to God the Most High To God who has always been my help May he send from heaven and save me And shame those who assail me May God send his truth and his love My soul lies down among lions who would devour the sons of men. Their teeth are spears and arrows, their tongue a sharpened sword. O God, arise above the heavens, may your glory shine on earth. They laid a snare for my steps, my soul was bowed down. They dug a pit in my path, but fell in it themselves. My heart is ready, O God, my heart is ready. I will sing, I will sing your praise. Awake, my soul, awake, lyre and harp. I will awake the dawn. I will thank you, Lord, among the peoples, among the nations I will praise you. For your love reaches to the heavens and your truth to the skies. O God, arise above the heavens, may your glory shine on earth. Gloria Patri et Filio, Et Spiritui Sancto, Sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in saecula saeculorum. Amen. Awake, lyre and harp, with praise let us awake the dawn. My people, says the Lord, will be filled with my blessings. Hear the word of the Lord, O nations. 
proclaim it on distant coasts and say, He who scattered Israel now gathers them together. He guards them as a shepherd his flock. The Lord shall ransom Jacob. He shall redeem him from the hand of his conqueror. Shouting, they shall mount the heights of Zion. They shall come streaming to the Lord's blessings. The grain, the wine, and the oil, the sheep and the oxen. They themselves shall be like watered gardens. Never again shall they languish. Then the virgins shall make merry and dance, and young men and old as well. I will turn their mourning into joy. I will console and gladden them after their sorrows. I will lavish choice portions upon the priests, and my people shall be filled with my blessings, says the Lord. Gloria patria et filio, et spiritu e sancto, sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. My people, says the Lord, will be filled with my blessings. The Lord is great and worthy to be praised in the city of our God. His holy mountain rises in beauty, the joy of all the earth. Mount Zion, true pole of the earth, the great king's city. God in the midst of its citadels has shown himself its stronghold. For the kings assembled together, together they advanced. They saw at once they were astounded, dismayed they fled in fear. A trembling seized them there. Like the pangs of birth By the east wind you have destroyed The ships of Tarshish As we have heard, so we have seen In the city of our God In the city of the Lord of hosts Which God upholds forever O God, we ponder your love Within your temple Your praise, O God, like your name, reaches the ends of the earth. With justice your right hand is filled, Mount Zion rejoices. The people of Judah rejoice at the sight of your judgments. Walk through Zion, walk all around it, count the number of its towers. Review all its ramparts, examine its castles, that you may tell the next generation that such is our God, our God forever and always. It is He who leads us. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper, Et in secula seculorum. Amen. The Lord is great and worthy to be praised in the city of our God. Thus says the Lord, The heavens are my throne and the earth is my footstool. What kind of house can you build for me? What is to be my resting place? My hand made all these things, when all of them came to be, says the Lord. This is the one whom I approve, the lowly and afflicted man who trembles at my word. From the depths of my heart I cry to you, hear me, O Lord. From the depths of my heart I cry to you, hear me, O Lord. I will do what you desire. Hear me, O Lord. Gloria Patria et Filio et Spiritui Sancto. 
From the depths of my heart I cry to you, hear me, O Lord. Let us serve the Lord in holiness, and he will save us from our enemies. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Gloria Patria et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in saecula saeculorum. Amen. Let us serve the Lord in holiness, and he will save us from our enemies. The Lord Jesus has given us the light of another day. In return we thank him as we cry out, Lord, bless us and bring us close to you. You offered yourself in sacrifice for our sins. Accept our intentions and our work today. Lord, bless us and bring us close to you. You bring us joy by the light of another day. Let the morning star rise in our hearts. Lord, bless us and bring us close to you. Give us strength to be patient with those we meet today and so imitate you. Lord, bless us and bring us close to you. Make us aware of your mercy this morning, Lord, and let your strength be our delight. Lord, bless us and bring us close to you. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. O God, who constantly raise up in your church new examples of virtue, grant that we may follow so closely in the footsteps of the Bishop St. Alphonsus in his zeal for souls, as to attain the same rewards that are his in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.